explosive landmines to a defense so good even tryhards will fall for it. Here are 35 ways you can protect your house in Minecraft. Everyone loves a good explosion, so here's a way to make a totally invisible and instant landmine. Just place a bunch of TNT minecarts on some powered rails like this and took them up to a skulk sensor right next to them. Sneak away and you've got the best hidden way to protect your house. Isn't it so great? Ah! My house! But if you want a slightly less destructive method of protection, it's time to hire some soldiers. Bees will actually stay aggravated permanently, meaning if you trap a bunch below the floor in your base and rig them up to release when any intruders enter, they'll swarm them instantly and even chase them down for miles. Let's be honest though, you don't want anyone in your base at all. So it's time to up the security. With just a couple chains and walls, you can create a cool looking fence. But add some magma blocks covered in moss below and it will actually turn into an electrified laser fence. It works too. If you're standing on the magma, you can't actually break the chain before you die. And if you're super rich, try building this design with iron bars, cobwebs, and magic potion dispensers below the ground. If you rig this tripwire up to shoot damage potions, it'll really send a message to robbers. And it's a cool piece of decoration too. A great way to protect your base from both mobs and players is to hide puffer fish underground around your base. Moss carpets are a super easy way to sneak them into your decoration, and water logging even allows you to hide them in bushes and trees. Ow! Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks! If you're feeling really mean though, the best way to deal with thieves isn't to kill them, but trap them permanently. Using a simple piston trap, you can force a player into a bubble elevator like this, surrounded in obsidian. Due to the bubbles pushing them around, it'll be almost impossible to mine it even with a pickaxe. Let's be honest though, one of the best ways to protect your base is to just hide it really well. So next time you're feeling too lazy to set up tons of traps on your turf, try heading to a snowy biome and hiding it like this. Pick a random snow-covered block and place a few scaffolding below it. Then dig two holes either side, add a bubble elevator in one, and now you have an invisible base that you can even crouch around in to hide your name tag. That's if you can remember where you put it, which, let's be honest, I can't. Mobs have got way better at pathfinding compared to how they used to be, but they still have some issues. For some reason, they still don't see carpets as blocks. So if you fill a pit like this with them, you're totally protected from mobs. Two tall flowers like sunflowers and roses work for this too. If you're like me and can never remember where you put your secret entrances, try this out. Shulker boxes are a great way to sort your items. But if I jump on top of this one and open it, suddenly I'm in my second secret base. For some reason, you can fall through shulker boxes if there's a block above your head, allowing for a perfect entrance that you can even color code and use as storage. Everyone knows zombies love turtle eggs, or hate them, I guess. But you can actually use this to protect your base. With just a single turtle egg and a trap door, you can create this super simple zombie trap that will kill every zombie nearby for you for almost no cost. Unfortunately, snowmen don't do damage to mobs with their attacks, but they will push them back and get their attention. If you spread a bunch of them out in tall towers around your base, they'll totally stop any mobs from attacking you and keep you safe. And if it's players you're worried about, try swapping a snowman out for a skeleton and adding fire around it to create a truly spicy surprise for any intruders. I think the most underrated item in 1.20 is the calibrated skulk sensor. When you place an amethyst block next to it, it'll relay any signal it gets to any other nearby sensors. Using this, you can create essentially infinite wireless redstone that's only activated by certain noises in certain places. So if I eat this piece of food here, the sensors will relay the signal along and teleport me using this ender pearl stasis machine. This will make your base literally impossible to find. You should know that if you're playing on hard mode, a door probably isn't enough to keep you safe from zombies. So instead, try placing two end rods like this as a door instead. You can slide through perfectly, but mobs have a really hard time. And if end rods aren't your style, this works with bamboo, different kinds of fences, and even lightning rods. But I'll be careful using these in bad weather. Ah! These do have a slight drawback though, is if you manage to anger enough mobs, they can push each other through. So for an entrance that's almost foolproof, add a line of cobblestone walls with some carpets on top. Not even spiders can get past. Now think about it, if you can remove all the mobs in your world, there's no need to protect your base. So how on earth do you do that? Well, as usual, the mango has a solution. If you create this super simple warden farm, you can use note blocks to lure dozens of wardens into this prison with a vine inside. Eventually, so many wardens will spawn that it prevents any mob from spawning anywhere in the entire world. However, this is terrifying, and there's a much easier way to get basically the same effect. Simply grab a boat and spend some time looking for a mushroom island. Other than the deep dark, which has other problems, this is the only place mobs won't spawn naturally. And it's the perfect backdrop to build an awesome fantasy base. They can be quite hard to find, but you can always use a seed map if you're feeling devious. Decoys are the number one best way to help hide your base, and you can even cover them with traps. Try building this water drop chute somewhere obvious, but add a tripwire halfway down. As soon as it triggers, this piston pushes a block over, leaving the 
thief in a very unfortunate situation. Another way to create a great decoy is with paintings. If you cover a wall with all sorts of paintings, an intruder is always going to try and just walk on through. However, if you build this setup, you can totally trick them. That's a real entrance requires throwing an item in here and being squished through this trap door. It's quite sophisticated, just like my art collection. Mm, yes. Mm. All these methods are quite expensive, though. If you want the cheapest possible way to protect your base, try literally just placing boats all the way around it. When it turns nighttime, any mobs that try to attack will get stuck in them and serve as a defense against players. Another super cheap method of defense is to just wire up a super annoying noise to start playing as soon as someone enters. When this door is opened, an observer gets pushed over here and triggers all these blocks over and over, creating a circuit that will drive a thief crazy and even work as a perfect alarm system. But sometimes players aren't just trying to steal your loot, they're out for blood, so an alarm system just won't cut it. To truly fortify your base, try building your base using stairs placed like this. If you fill them with water, it won't spill everywhere, and it makes your entire base completely resistant to TNT, stopping raiders and creepers in their tracks. And if you want to take this to the next level, try placing a line of observers below the outside blocks hooked up to TNT. These will trigger as soon as the stairs are broken, blowing the raiders up instantly while your base sits there totally unharmed. Remember back in the old days of the game when the best traps just involved placing gravel above signs? Well, these go 1,000 times better with scaffolding. Now, instead of spending ages placing signs perfectly, you can just place a layer of scaffolding hooked up to a piston, stick some carpets above it, and as soon as it's triggered, it'll plunge any players and their loot directly into this pit of lava. The most difficult part of creating a secret base is trying to hide the entrance. So try this idea out. Build a regular wheat or potato farm above wherever you want your base to be. Then break a block behind the crop like this and hide a button in there. Not only is this almost impossible to see, but nobody will ever suspect this lovely little farm being the place you hide all your valuable gear. If you want something even less suspicious, try breaking a hole beneath a lava pool and placing some water like this and building your base down here. Lava pools are totally natural and nobody ever touches them on a server, making them the perfect place to slip into, even if it is a little painful. The only other place in the entire game that mobs can't spawn is actually an ocean temple? It's true. The game is coded so that only guardians can spawn in them, meaning that if you remove all the water, absolutely no mobs will spawn nearby. You're gonna need a lot of sponges or a massive machine, but at the end, you're left with a pre-built mob-free paradise. But if you'd rather not do all that work, there are ways to completely mob-proof your base easily. Not only do slabs basically double the amount of blocks you have for floors and roofs, but mobs can't spawn on bottom slabs, meaning even if your house is pitch black, nothing will be able to spawn inside. You could even add soul sand below and use soul speed to run around your house super quickly. Minecart rails also have the same effect, and you can make cool patterns out of them, but they have a second effect I think is even more interesting. For some reason, mobs see rails as completely impassable objects and won't ever walk over them. So if you surround your base with a railway, it'll be completely safe from the horrors of the outside world, and you get a fun little roller coaster too. Even though zombies can knock down doors with these, for some reason they're completely stopped by trap doors. And given we can easily hop on all fours and crawl beneath, this simple setup works perfectly as a door that zombies have absolutely no hope of breaking down. Eating a chorus fruit will teleport you to a random nearby block, even if that block is maybe on the other side of a wall. So if you head underground and build a tunnel like this, making sure to place carpets on the ground, you can build a base on the other side of the wall that can be instantly entered by simply eating a chorus fruit. However, I think the best possible secret entrance is one that I've never seen anybody use. Simply dying can teleport you tens of thousands of blocks away depending on where you set your spawn. So you can make an underground obsidian bunker far away from anything else, store your items in an ender chest, and instantly teleport there. Then you can build a machine like this to obstruct your spawn point for 60 seconds and instantly respawn at 0, zero again. But the most powerful defense method of all that allows you to be completely and utterly safe from all mobs in the game is to just simply put it to peaceful mode. Absolutely nothing could... Huh? What's that? Oh no, it can't be. Ah! Oh god, subscribe!